Hello everyone, welcome to the day 4 of the 30 days code process series and the today's problem we are going to solve is sequence and swap. The problem link was already given in the description of yesterday's problem. So if you haven't checked the description, go and check the description of today's uh, as pro video as well. You will find the problem for tomorrow's question as well. Okay, so with that, the question link is obviously being given in the description box. Go and check out and try to read the problem and try to understand what does the problem wants you to do. I will explain the problem in a minute, but before that, I would like you to just read the problem on your own and try to figure out what you actually need to do in the problem. Okay, so I hope you would have read the problem. Now, let's just move to the problem. What does the problem wants us to do? Suppose this is an array, this is the size of the array n. And initially an element x is given to you. Now what does the question wants you to do? The question wants you to sort the array. Very simple, right? But how to sort the array? The question is saying, suppose you are finding an element which is greater than x. So you can replace it with x. You can swap it with x. What do you mean by that? Suppose there is an element 5 over here. There is an element 4 over here. You, what you can do is you can swap it with x. So the x will become 4 and this element will become 1. Again, this is again not in a sorted order, but this is what you can do. What I'm trying to understand, make you understand that you need to swap and make to you need to make the array sorted. Now you can think of an approach if you are able to get it what to do. You can swap and any number of elements like initial initially swap, maybe initially swap. Get three here, then you can swap maybe this element with three, and then you will get five here. You can swap any number of you want, but at the end it should be in a sorted order. So if you are try to think for a solution, we will come back to the solution in another minute. <clears throat> okay, so if you have tried the solution now let's move to the solution what we will do we will i will first try to explain the approach and see let's let's first try to dry run the problem once suppose i replace one with two now three is also greater than two so we can replace two with three remember you need to swap the greater element you cannot swap the smaller element than x you have to swap the greater element only so now x is 3 now there is 5 and there is 4 so if i will swap 5 with x so x will become 5 and the array you can see is now in a sorted order so basically we did three swaps first swap here second swap here and the third swap here the fourth was not needed to be swapped so our answer became 3 so that's what we have to find. We have to find the minimum number of swaps required in order to sort the array. You have to swap with the value x and the value x will change obviously since you are swapping and not uh, replacing. So the value x will be changed. So now how to approach the problem? See, it is very simple. Just think of it like this. Try to find out the point after which the array is sorted. Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Try to find out a point after which the entire array is sorted. So here is 2 that point after which the entire array is sorted? No. Is 3 that point after which the entire array is sorted? No. Is 5 the point after which the entire array is sorted? Yes. So 5 is the point up to which we will traverse into the array and we will update our answer. Now, if you find anywhere that where the array of i, the element is greater than x, then simply swap because we need to have the greater value of x so that we can replace it later. What I am trying to say is C. Suppose x is smaller than current element and you have still not reached the last point after which the array is sorted, which means there is some element after this particular index where the array is not sorted and if the array is not sorted, you can replace it with x. But since x is already smaller than this particular element, so it in terms meet, meet means that it will be smaller than all other elements and since it will be smaller than all the other elements so it means that you cannot swap those elements with x because you can swap only those elements means you can swap it with x 
but what will happen is the array won't be sorted because since the x is smaller than this element so if you will put swap any, any element afterwards so the x will come here so it means a smaller value will come after a error of i which is a greater value so basically if you find any value which is greater than x then simply swap that's what i am trying to say are you able to get it see what i have just told you found the value 2 now that 2 i am saying if it is greater than x then simply swap why because if you will not swap then you cannot swap any element after 2 with x because if you will swap any element with x so x will come at that particular position and since x was smaller than this particular element so the array will become not sorted and it is not possible to sort the array because you have just swapped the position and you have a smaller element after the element which has already been discovered like we have already traversed to 2 and after now after that we are adding a smaller element to it so it's not correct are you able to get what i'm trying to say if yes so let's just do a dry run 2 was smaller than uh, x so we swap the value of x with 2 now 3 is greater than 2 so we swap the value of x with 3 now 5 is greater than 3 so we swap 5 with 3 now we won't be swapping 4 because as i said we just need to traverse up to the unsafe point unsafe point is the point after which the entire array is sorted means unsafe point is the point till which you need to actually sort the array so if it is any having any problem let's just take another example and we might get a better idea let's take this one in this example and in this example okay yeah in this example the initial value of x is 18 so is it greater than 81 yes it is 81 is greater than 18 yes so we will swap to those two elements now 324 is it greater than 81 uh, it's, uh yes so we will swap again and x will be equal to 324 218 it is greater than uh, two, uh, 324 no why no it is no so we won't swap why we won't swap First of all, we cannot swap again as uh, we can swap only greater elements, not smaller elements. So we, we won't be swapping. But even if we will swap, so what will happen? X will get a smaller value and we cannot swap X with anyone else because we have already got a bigger value here and now the smaller value cannot be put after it. So there is no point of swapping X and even though if, uh, if, if it would be, it is not allowed because it is a smaller value. So we won't be swapping. Now 413. Will we swap 413 with 324? Yes, we will swap. So our array will look something like this. Uh, we, our array will look something like this. Yeah. And then at the end, what is there? Uh, 324 again. And this time it is 413. Will we swap? No. Because as I said, we will swap up to safe unsafe point only. And unsafe point for this array was still here because after this the entire array is sorted it was not up to here because after this there is an element there is a position where it is not sorted so we are taking the unsafe point up to this and we are traversing only till this and we see again we swap at three position one position two position and three position so the answer for this particular case will be three also now let's take the example where it is not possible for an example here it is 11 9 and 2 10, 11, and 9. So let's just take this example. So in this particular case, the value of x is 10. What is the unsafe point? Here is the unsafe point, right? Because after 11, all the elements are in a sorted order. Order. So we just need to traverse till 11. So we will see, hey, the value 11 is greater than 10. So we will swap it. And you would say, hey, the answer is 1. Because after this, we don't need to traverse. Because after unsafe point, we don't need to traverse. But there is a clutch over there. See, even though you did this, the array is still in not in a sorted order. Why? Because at any position, if you check that, hey, uh, you swapped it, but you check, hey, uh, the element after one, after this, is smaller than, is smaller than this particular element, x. So even though you will swap it, now it will become 11. But now you cannot swap x with 9 because you can swap greater elements only. So 
so basically after considering this what we found out the array was not sorted because the current element when x was 10 the current element was greater than x but the next element was smaller than x so if such case happens where the current element is greater than x but the next element is smaller than x so you cannot uh, sort the array y because since current element is greater than x you will swap it with current element and then the uh, value of current element will the value of x will be equal to the current element which is 11 now is since you have got a value 11 now x since the next element was lesser than x so even you put x here or if you don't put anything still the next element is going to be smaller and if the next element is smaller you cannot swap it with x so this is an h case sorry this is an example where it is not possible what do i mean if the current element is greater than x and the next element it is smaller than x so in such case greater than or equal to as well like even it, if it would be equal to 11 initially as well still you will have a 11 here and your answer won't be possible so if it is greater than or equal to x and the next element is smaller than x so it's not possible or you can say smaller than or equal to so in such cases it will be giving an answer as so you got one case where arr of i if it is greater than or equal to x and next element is smaller than x then you won't be getting an answer so basically there could be many such cases so you can simplify it by saying just swap every time whenever the element is greater than x just swap it and up to the unsafe point and once unsafe point is reached break down from the traversal now once you are done with the traversal just check if the array is sorted then whatever the number of swaps you have done just print it otherwise the answer will be minus one so i hope you would have understood the one case which i have explained where minus one will come this is the particular condition that if the arr of i is greater than or equal to x and the arr of i plus 1 is less than x basically what does it mean that no matter whether you swap the element or not next element is even smaller than x and next element is even smaller than arr of i so even if you will swap you won't be able to sort the array because the next element is smaller than x so even if you will swap it still you won't be getting an answer okay so I guess you would have understood one situation. This is that particular case where here this example it was I guess 10 and 9 or 11 or 9. It was 11 and 9 and the value of x was 10. Since the current element was greater than x and the next element was smaller than x. So the answer will become minus 1. More importantly just take this particular scenario. Suppose it would have been the value of x would have been 8. Now in this particular case, since the current value of uh, the current value is greater than x, but the next value is also greater than x, so it's not a problem. Or even it would have been equal to x, it won't be a problem. But if it is less than x, then what will happen? You can never swap this particular value. And since you cannot swap this particular value, a smaller value will always remain after a bigger value. So the array is not sortable. To more specify it, there can be multiple cases as such. So to avoid all those uh, all those problems, we will simply do a one thing. We will keep swapping whenever we will find a greater element. And once we have reached the unsafe point, we will stop. Now after reaching the unsafe point, we will simply check if the array we have made and that is sorted. If that array is sorted, we will say, hey, this is our particular answer, the number of swaps we have done. But in case the array is not sorted yet, it means that it is not possible to sort the array. Hence, we will print minus 1. Okay, then I will be showing the code to you. You can try coding it on your own. But I will be showing the code in CPP and the submission link is again given in the description. So, you can go and check it out. Basically, see, what I have done is I have tried to calculate the unsafe point first, which I have calculated using a very simple thing. If the current element is greater than the next element, so I am putting the unsafe point over there. Once I have calculated the unsafe point, what I have done is simply I have traversal, I have done the traversal till unsafe point, and there I have just checked if the current element is greater than x, I have done the swapping. And after the swapping is done, I have just checked if the array is not sorted, then the answer is minus one. Otherwise, whatever the answer was, I have just printed it. So I guess yeah, that's a very simple solution. That's a very simple problem. Again, this is 
a 1600 level problem so you can see it's not that difficult tomorrow also we are going to take another 1600 level problem so do check out the problem tomorrow as well the tomorrow's problem link is given in the description i hope you are liking the video i hope you are enjoying the series if yes please comment and uh, please explain please write down what do you like about the series we will be meeting tomorrow with another episode of 30 days challenge see ya peace out